In this video and the next, I'm going to show you the trick of using scaling and proportionality. This is an incredibly powerful and incredibly easy trick, but students almost never use it. I'm not entirely sure why not, but let me show you what it is, and I think you'll agree it can be extremely useful. The basic idea is, let's say you're trying to work something out. You could work it out from scratch, but you might know an example that's something similar. So the idea is rather than work it out from scratch, you find something similar and scale from there. For example, let's say you're trying to work out how bright a star is of a particular star. Now that's a difficult calculation from first principles, but you might happen to know there's a similar star and how bright that one is. The only difference might be that this one's got a slightly higher mass. So you might scale from the brightness of this star to that star to allow for the greater mass to work it out, saving you a whole lot of calculations. Now the first step is to work out proportionality. And this is not something that's very familiar to a lot of students, so let me go through what we mean by proportionality. For example, let's say we're trying to work out the force between two charges. We've got charge 1 and charge 2. And we happen to know that the force between them, when they are 0.3 metres apart, is 3 newtons. Now let's say we want to work out what the force will be if we move this one out to 12 metres apart. But, and here's the rub, we don't know the charge of either particle. So we can't just use Coulomb's law to work it out. So how would you do this? We're going to have to figure out which, how the force varies as a function of distance. Just like here we had to work out how the brightness varied as a function of mass. Now from Coulomb's law, we know that force equals charge 1, which we don't know, charge a second we don't know, over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. Now what we care about is the relationship between the force and the distance. So what that means is you ignore everything that's not a force at a distance. And you replace the equal sign with the proportional sign. So you get that force is proportional to, it's like a fish, 1 over r squared. Now that's the same thing as saying that force equals some unknown constant times 1 over r squared. In this particular case, that constant is q1, q2 over 4 pi epsilon naught. But we don't normally care what that constant is. All we care about is what the proportionality is. So that's how we work out proportionality. You're trying to measure something A, how it depends on something else B. You take your equation and you cross out anything that isn't A and B then you have a is proportional to b, and it's usually going to be to some power. And this is what you really care about. Is it to the power of 1? Is it to the power of 2? Is it to the power of minus 3? This is what you really care about. In this case, it's f is proportional to r to the minus 2. And that minus 2 is the crucial thing. And this is the first step to doing the scaling. We'll talk about scaling in the next video.